Hello everybody, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, so I was going through, I was doing my usual setup, and when I brought up the file name, the file stuff, apparently there was, uh, there's stuff here. What? Like, uh, there's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath her manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their hosts, seeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower, starving all of, uh, starving all of, of all motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt into comfort food. Wait. Or into a newly opened gash of their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of cute, a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mess is already present in e every single one of them. That's all. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. This twisted background of theirs. And then there's, um... Uh... Well, obviously this is, um... Probably files, I think? Let me double-click real quick. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, that's not important then. Uh, then we have this image. This one file that says, I... I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want for you is to hate them. Why is that so hard? Uh, I think this is just... I don't know if this is actually a thing. Yeah, okay. That's nothing, then. And this one is... Uh, I'm sorry, but an uncaught exception occurred. And then it said something like, Here it is! Oh jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I could probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This will probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. Wait, deleted? She's the one making this so difficult. Ahaha, ah, well, here goes nothing. She's... Wait... I remember clicking this folder before because I was wondering why there's a character folder. Oh no. Well, anyways, that's what has happened. That's what I discovered. And, um. That's kind of, uh. That's really terrifying, so I guess I'll, uh. I'll continue on. Yeah. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Hey, that's what I was doing just a second ago. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know I have this problem when I let, let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. Mm -hmm. My whole body gets incredibly what? What? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people, so I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. This is why I'm hesitant on not reading these and just, like, skipping through, because th there's differences. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't know if you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Y yeah uh <laughs> getting the, that gave me a little chill I mean you do have to but what are you saying just let me get the book I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag all right it's fine as I you say you're right I slipped into the seat next to Yuri's uh yeah are you sure you seem a little apprehensive that's I'm sorry it's not that I don't want you to it's just something that I'm not used to that is reading company with someone I see. 
Well, just tell me if anything's distracting you or anything. All right, I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Fury means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel a presence over my shoulder as I read. Not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling's somewhat comforting. Fury is in the corner of my eye. I realize she's just not actually reading her own book. I glance over. She's reading from my book instead. I was. What? I think that. I think. From what I glanced, it said, I was bathing in the presence of your body. I don't know if I read that right. If I had, like, a second longer, I would be able to read it all. Because I can only read, like, the first sentence. And then the second one pops up and just goes. Even my speed reading can't keep up with that. <laughs> I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry, I mean... Ahaha. Ah, here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly goes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders almost touching. I feel my leg, arms in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book. Uh, I guess it makes it too difficult to turn the page. Here. Takes her left arm and holds the uh, left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. Do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, Yuri slides my it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But only like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. As if, as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. And she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? And to turn the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got distracted for a second. Let's over Yuri's face and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not used to us reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. You're probably seem to be so patient with me. Yeah, yeah, thanks. We continue reading, uh, continue the first chapter in silence. Yeah, it's the same thing. Hey, Yuri, this might be so hard. Make character drawings of you. Second guess things and all. Something else? No. Didn't get that far out yet. Ah, ha, ha, Yuri appearing alright. Yuri's a bit old. Be, uh, sick or something. Breathing's a little. I'm trying my best, guys. I don't want to skip anything, but at the same time, a lot of this is just the same thing. Ranzik? Wait, what? Well, maybe I'm not too worried about skipping things. I don't push your boss to your stands up and privately rushes out of the quest. Wait a second. Aw! Oh, this is exactly why I didn't want to click too fast. Apparently something happened. Uh, you just made a fist you start reading, feeling sick or something, your breathing is a little, my breathing, puts your hands over your chest, and it's just a feel a heartbeat, ah, uh, I, I didn't even notice, anyways, I'm fine, I just need some water, alright, don't push yourself, Yuri stands up and regularly rushes out to the classroom, what on earth was that about? Ranzik? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea, Yuri's acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her, no nothing, right. Haha, uh, don't worry, I believe in you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be well, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I can make a mental note where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. Uh... Oh, obviously Monica. Hi again, Ranzik. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going to be it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe you come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Wanna share what you wrote for today? Sure. Uh, poems given to Monica. Alright, great job, Ranzik. Oh, just going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. Sure why, but I didn't expect you for something deep. I guess I understand you. <laughs> As you see. Uh, well, it worked anyways. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing. Wait, what? Did I mess up? I don't remember. I, uh, I stopped playing for a bit. Uh, oh man, did I write a Yuri poem? I didn't mean to. Dodge like that. Star for social interaction, like earlier. Stand too late and withdrawing and looking for alarms in a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! Back. Did I miss anything? I'm waiting to figure out what the hell's going on with you. I think you cut yourself. Hmm? Already? Sharing poems. 
Alright, thanks Monica. I suppose I get my poem now, but anyway, I want to read my poem now. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me, the colors they won't. Bright. Wait. Bright, pure colors. Flashing, extreme, piercing. Red, green, blue. Endless. Company of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, gritting, me, squeezing, piercing, sighing, constant tangent. Like playing a chalkboard, turn peel, like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage? Delete her. Delete her. Wait a second, you already deleted, deleted Sayori. Are you telling me to delete Yuri? Should I delete Yuri? Guys, this is kind of freaky. Um, I don't know if I should delete Yuri or not. Uh, let's... Let's... Wait a bit. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining, anyway. Here's my Monica writing tip for the day! Sometimes you find yourself writing, facing a difficult decision. When it happens, don't forget to save your game. And when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. What? Monica? I'm so confused. What's going on? I think Monica has something to do with this, but I could be wrong. Uh... That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Eh? Natsuki? Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. And again, if this one was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. <laughs> well, I guess I want to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this one, but I expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club really uh, writes really differently from each other, and you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you're spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught to never expect anything from anybody. It's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Natsuki? Benzik. I thought that said TM. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you! I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off with not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. Eh? That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Ranzig, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to go home crying? Uh, maximum discomfort. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. 
Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Where'd your mouth go? Oh, it's right there. It's a smile. <laughs> Click on anything right now. There it goes. Uh, uh, I'm looking for my file right now to see if anything changed. Because that made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> um. Yuri? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I just like holding it. Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh... Well, there are some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Look, you're fine, Yuri. You got his head not Suki, cry blood, lose her eyes. And snap her neck and run at me. <laughs> oh man, say that to a completely normal person. Now let's move on. This is the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Oh. A rotating wheel turning on its axle, grinding uh, bolt head. Linear gear by falling skies, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A tone harness. Uh, a, wait, a, a lean harness? A parabolic gear boy. Expanding universe. Tune controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning. A prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time devoting. De time devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, uh, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks a second time, a bolt hold of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connected to a sky of faulty gears, and open human eyes in all directions. A uh, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, uh, breathing time, uh, breathing time. Oh, I almost said breathing. Ugh. Breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Ah. Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter what's about. My mind's been a little hyperactive, lady. So I had to take it out on your pen. Ah. That is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um... I just really like the way it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Ah ha ha. I'm okay. What did I just... Can we prevent this conversation there, man? You can keep the poem, though. Yes? Oh. Um. <laughs> I was expecting something else. <laughs> We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so everyone can sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really need something for the festival? It's not like we put together anything good in just a few days. We'll end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. 
I really don't do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much, we're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's a bit a little more lively ever since Ranzik joined and we started with some collect activities. But this isn't the time for us to be complacent, we only have four men. Uh, we still only have four members. Sorry, I am. Um, I'm thinking five, but Sayori's gone. Just poof. Festival's only a real chance to find out more, you know. What's so great about getting new members anyways? We already have enough to be considered an official club. And more members would just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Would you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling you brought in here in the first place? Then the literature club should be a place where people can express themselves where they can't anywhere else. A place so intimate you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even something small. Right, Ranzik? Ah. Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Ranzik to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Whoa. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Ranzik joined. Never talked. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Renzik isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who finds it interesting, who's inter so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president at all, but you should really consider our options for once. Dot dot dot. Monica's very clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Renzik want to get more members too, right? Dot 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 dot. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Ranzik, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of this, all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Dot dot dot. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest, it's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from, him, from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Ranzik. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the directions she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks out of the classroom. Hmm. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Oh. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. I might. <laughs> eh? Eh? I'm checking the file again. I feel very unsafe right now. And I know you like knives. And you cut yourself, probably. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decisions right. That's for the club. What about you, Ranzik? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. 
I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will make will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way, which each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you'd like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright! Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. L Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. Let's- we'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Ranzik? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Ranzik before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as a president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been hectic lately, haven't they? Ranzik, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Ahaha. Uh, sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. If this was put- if you said this in any other way, like, before in the first, like, game or whatever, I would have been like, oh yeah, maybe, yeah, alright. But, um... Um... I've been reading these files, okay? Something ain't right. Something. I don't understand fully what's going on. But it's obvious she's doing something. It could be there's two people. It could be it's just her. It could be, like, uh, another person behind her that's, like... I don't know. Let's just play. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time y uh, you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Oh. Well, actually, that might be a point. I... Did have an option to meet with you. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet, no! Okay. Okay. It's Monica. Monica is self aware as hell. Ooh. Monica is doing something, and she could be protecting me from that second entity, but she is self-aware for sure. I had my doubts. Not anymore. So for now, I'm just going to end this episode here for now, because it seems like a good time as any, and for me to collect my thoughts. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye!